The ranking Republican on the House Energy and Commerce Committee, Oregon Representative Greg Walden, is ending his congressional career after 22 years of service. I want to thank the thousands of volunteers and supporters of my campaigns over the years. We did it together, and I'd like to believe we did it for the right reasons, to leave our state and to leave our country better places than we found them. Walden made one of his priorities during his time in Congress passing legislation to help active military and veterans. We helped save the veterans facility in White City. America is blessed to have these brave men and women who risk their lives so that we can enjoy ours in peace. A former radio broadcaster, Walden also served as the chair of the telecommunications subcommittee. I'm really proud of the bipartisan work we did together to open up spectrum for advanced communications. In Act FirstNet, our first responders knew uh, uh, interoperable broadband network. He also helped push bipartisan legislation, working to end the opioid crisis. We took on the deadly epidemic of a drug overdose and combined more than 60 bipartisan pieces of legislation into the Support Act. But after nearly three decades in politics, in Salem most of the 90s and now 22 years in the nation's capital, he says there's unfinished business. It's also an issue he's worked at tirelessly. My one regret is we could never find the key to unlocking a durable and fair solution to the water crisis in the Klamath Basin that could also pass in the Congress. Walden's power grew in the last decade. He served as the chairman of the National Republican Congressional Committee, the GOP's campaign arm in the House of Representatives for two terms. As our nation's politics have grown more partisan in recent years, Walden's tried to stay above the fray while still fighting for Oregon, most recently for FEMA aid after the Almeida fire. I leave on my own terms, feeling good about that which I have helped to improve the lives of those who entrusted me election after election, and I leave feeling positive about the ability to get good policy done right here in the U.S. House of Representatives. In Medford, Katie Strait, Fox 26 News.